on this axis, it moves up and down nice and freely. It falls on its own due to gravity. That's great. That's what you want. If I go like this, it's fine. If I spin this 90 degrees, I am rotating the drive shaft. Look at that. It's jammed. If I move this, put my elbow on the drive shaft to hold it. Oops. It's creating a nasty shutter. It's making a shock wave. Oh, I bumped it. Shock wave throughout the whole kitchen counter. This is what's happening on the vehicle. As it spins with each rotation, it's making two motions. If your engine's crankshaft is spinning at 3000 RPMs and your transmission is in a one to one ratio, then it's spinning at 3000 times per minute. If your trans is in overdrive and you're on the highway, your uh, tachometer is at 2400 RPMs if it's 80 percent this is still spinning 3,000 times a minute this is making 6,000 movements per minute that's a problem I'm going to explain in a future video why that's a problem well this explains why it's a problem but how it happens and what you can do about it. And the problem with the industry is that this gets balanced on a state-of-the-art machine. It gets laid in there perfectly straight. It tells the dummy where to put the weight, but the U-joints are not in operation. There is no such machine that I know of. Now, if you know of one, <laughs> Let me know. There's no such machine that tests the operation of the U-joints. Only the customer, when they put it in the vehicle, they're going to experience a shutter. And then they can, the shop could keep on rebalancing it and say, oh, or seems fine to me. He can't figure it out. That's why. These U-joints could be filled with super glue and they, they would send it right out with a clean bill of health. And then you'd be like, oh, well, it doesn't move because they didn't test the operation of the movement. Okay.